guys, we are back again, Charlie. If today is your first time on my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with your friends. You are wondering why I'm in this cloth right here in my village here with the mango, and we are about to do something special. I mean, I brought her to the village because she said she wanted to experience the village life in Ghana, and so we are here to enjoy what happens here enjoy everything that has to do being in the village feels like and so i'm about to prepare a meal and you know i would always come along with you i mean i can't prepare the meal alone and enjoy it without involving you and so we d behind the camera hi d hi, hi guys <laughs> what's up hope you're doing fine my name is D Mwango. For those who are wondering, who is D? D is a Kenyan content creator, and I'm so happy to be in Ghana. And please go show some love to my YouTube channel. The yes. link is down below. So I'll share her link in the description box. So we are going to prepare um, Petri Dechi and uh, Petri Dechi. Petri Dechi. Petri Dechi. Okoko soup. Mm -hmm. And it's a local delicacy in right here in Ghana. In fact, no, not in Ghana, among the airways. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to be enjoying it together. Yeah, I can't you, wait for you? that. I'm so hungry. I can't wait for that. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's go the right kitchen. into the kitchen. <laughs> This is how things are done here. This is our source of water, which is the well. And this water is used to cook, it's used to bath, it's used to do anything that uh, water is required. So, yeah, clean water. Yeah, it's clean water. I'm sure because of the sand, you know, here it's very sandy because we are very close to the sea. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's very sandy. I'm sure when it settles for some time, it's good to use to cook. It's used to be to do everything. So, yeah, let's go to the kitchen. We wash our hands before we cook our banku and petri dechi. Yeah. And this is how it's done in the village. And so, I mean, you guys are going to enjoy. Sure. D is going yeah. to enjoy. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. This is the kitchen. Say hello to mommy. Mommy, but hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the ingredients I'm going to be using. This is Willie. Willie. Which I steamed yesterday. We have salt. We have a bedro. If you know what a bedro is in your local dialect, let me know. This is also the okra which I've already boiled. And then this is meat. And then this is pepper. And we are going to be using a coal pot with fire. This is how the. This is how. I mean, it's bent wood, so you can assure yourself of good fire. It starts with the red oil. I forgot to show you that this is a fish. We have tin tomatoes, which I know I won't use. And so the pan is on fire. And the ingredients. Hi, D. Hi, guys. Are you Welcome excited? To our kitchen. Yeah, I'm so excited. Let me get to learn how to cook this. Maybe when I'm back to Kenya, I can try to cook this for my family. Okay. Add yeah, the onion, pepper, and a little bit of tin tomato. Just a little bit. It's now boiling. D, are you learning? Is it a little different from how it's done in Kenya? First, village? we don't have this meal, you know? Okay. We have the beef, of course. But uh, this the is so okra. different, you know, the cow skin is so different because back in my village, people don't eat cow skin or goat skin. It's okay, just it's called wele. Wele. Yeah. yeah. It's just the meat only. Uh, so, yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> add just a little. Then you add salt. Just a little too. Mm -hmm. You add salt just for taste. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So we also have some ginger. We are now going to add our meat, our crabs. So she's adding Ak this mm -hmm. into the plate. The meat has already been steamed. Yeah, boiled. Yes. The yeah, but uh, you know, man, it's okay to mean something totally different because we don't eat crabs, we don't eat uh, cow skin, you know, so. And here it's what they love most. The and delicious like, delicacy. Wow. <laughs> the delicious delicacies here. It's totally okay. different from what you have back in the country. So at the same time, I'm amazed and I'm like, wow. So people eat this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure at the end of the day, you like it. Hopefully. Really? Yeah. Let me hope so. So Stella's still cooking. We're still halfway. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Abedro, I would, I, would, I would definitely show you the, how the fruit looks like. So it's green. This is how when you when you grind it, this is how it looks like. Mm -hmm. So we're about to add it into. So here in Ghana, like all the spices are being grinded, like blended. Mm -hmm. You know, like but in Africa we do, okay, not in Africa, but in Kenya we just use the you know the fruits themselves. So here it's all about grinding, grinding. And we're about to add the main the main ingredients, which is the the boiled okra. Okay. Boiled okra. Okro is very lovely. Oh, wow. Yeah. Once you very, very sticky. Going to boil for some time, then we are done. Then we are done. Yes. Yes. Cover it for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. then we are done. So, this is how the cassava dough and the corn dough looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whilst our banku, uh, I mean, our okra is on fire, I think it's time for us to prepare. So, you just take a little into the pot. Yeah, it's not it's too much, just a little because it's just for us and auntie. Yeah. Add, add a little bit, yeah. Yeah, this is cassava and um, condo fermented condo mixed together. Yeah, so we just add a little bit of water and mix it together. Add water and mix it together. Yeah, no, could not meet you. Could you, could you She's bringing the water for us. I don't know. Yeah, add, could it be? I mix, 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 mix. Yeah, she just mix it, mix it till it's. It's very fine. Oh, it's very fine. Oh. Like porridge. Yes. It's ready and see how it looks really, really, really delicious. So the next step is to prepare banku, which is the cassava dough and the corn dough, which is on fire. Last night we ate akulen. That's why I'm not cooking akulen too. Akulen is what we had yesterday. It looks more of like garlic. Mm -hmm. yes. But this is banku. Banku is made with cassava dough and corn dough, fermented, um, grinded corn. So this is how it's being prepared here in the village. And so we keep mixing till it thickens. See, it looks it looks much thicker now. Mm -hmm. looks yeah. like. So we can add a little water and cover it for some time. Then it's done.
flavors. I actually thought we were going to get flavors. Mm -hmm. So you take the pot out from the fire, take it outside, put water in it. Yes. The, re the reason why we add we put water in it is because it can soften and we wash it to be easy, easy to wash. So just make sure you clean it before it sticks. It sticks. So you, you can use a spoon or a knife mm -hmm. to like just clean. It's very hot. Mm -hmm. So we are about to dish. And this is the crab. Our okra is ready. Our banku is ready. D, are you excited? <laughs> Guys, so, I've never eaten this in my whole life. In my whole life. So guys, our meal is finally ready and it's time to eat. I've never tried this, but because of Stella and because of you, let me just try it and let you know how it feels. So this is our banku. My hands are clean anyway, but let yeah. me again wash. So this is the banku itself. <laughs> You like it? You can try the fish. Too much. Yes. It's better. I did it just for you. <laughs> Banku and Uku village star. We sanctify this food in Jesus' name. Mm. Even though I have started eating, mm. this is the meat. Mm. Mm. It's very normal to have fries in this part of the country. Mm. This is the crab. Guys, let me know in the comment section. Do you like crab like me? Are you a crab person? What's crab called in your local dialect? Let me know. Finally, these are the end results. We cleared everything. And guys, Banku is full sweet. Let me know if it's ever good. so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this vlog as much as i enjoyed being here as much as i enjoyed documenting my entire experience with you show the mongo some love and tell her you're from the stella chanelli family show her some love she's doing amazing on youtube until next time on my next vlog catch you guys Mwah.